So in this video, I'm going to show you the differences between uh, the key differences between a button and a uh, touchable opacity um, function. And so uh, component, I should say. And so specifically, we're going to look at this in the iOS uh, emulator because that's where it really has its biggest um, effect. So um, what I've done is I've imported uh, you know, I have the kind of standard imports of a text, a view, style sheet, but then I've also imported touchable opacity, um, button, and an alert uh, from React Native. Um, and so those are kind of the key components that I'm uh, um, importing. And so a button, um, which is probably more frequently used, but uh, a lot of people don't realize that a button, especially in iOS, um, you're limited in to how you can style it. So, you know, the key features of a button are you have a, a title that will appear um, on the page, um, and then uh, you can connect its on press um, prop to a function. I just have a very simple function here that says uh, that's connected to a React Native alert and basically just gives you a little pop up with a message and an OK button. Uh, and then um, I added a, a style via our style sheet here um, that uh, is supposed to be given in a background, a border, a border width, um, and such. But uh, really, uh, these top three just kind of get ignored by iOS, which can be frustrating because that's a um, important part of your styling of your page. Um, and so that's where uh, touchable opacity comes to the rescue. So um, for the touchable opacity view, I have um, another function I created that just has an alert so we can distinguish between the two. Um, and so how do you add it? You just uh, add your um, touchable opacity um, starter tag and the starter tag takes a prop of on press just like a button does um, and style just like a button does. Uh, but as you're seeing over here on the page, the styles actually work here. They actually um, will take effect. So you can give it a background color. You can give a border radius and, and a border width, um, as well as the padding and the margin that uh, work. they work on both of them, just so you know. Um, and then whatever, you, you can have many things inside of your Dutch bowl pasty, but you know, usually you want to distinguish different uh, areas of the page is um, touchable uh, and so you know you should be I guess um, uh, you'd want to limit the amount of things you put in here uh, for the functionality of your page but you can in um, all intents and purposes put whatever you want inside here and it will be uh, touchable you'll be able to click it and get um, something happen on your screen. Um, so that's it. Uh, there's not a whole lot else to talk about, but I just wanted you to see um, that touchable opacity is actually a really good alternative to using a button in a many instances, when, especially when you want to be able to add certain styles to your um, touch area. Uh, so a lot of times I will use touchable opacity just as a substitute for a button and just put a, a text um, view inside here. Of course, could put an image or, or anything else in there. Um, all right, I hope you found that useful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions.